Don't risk a splendid career. I have support for this at the highest level. You're in for a shock when you find out what you're being asked to lie for. Silent Witness concludes tonight at nine on BBC One. We're human beings and we shouldn't be living in filth it's a health hazard. It's like rearing a baby. Of course I love him. He's beautiful. Rat Attack, a community divided by four-legged visitors. From everyday life comes one life. Wednesday at 10.35 on BBC One. Dick and Dom have never grown up. Two big kids, two hours of chaos. Saturday, Saturday mornings from 9 on CBBC One. I've got a huge stack of unread books. That you should tell me what books I should first read. Um, bum, 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 bum. Catch 22. Yeah. Oh, Catch 22 is so a bloke's book. Is it really? You should read Rebecca. That is an amazing yeah. book. All these great uh, books. I think all in all it's a good list. There's a, there's it's still something for everyone. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Whatever you've read, join me, Clive Anderson, as we uncover the nation's top 21 books and begin the search for your favourite, The Big Read, Saturday at five past nine on BBC Two. So now on BBC One Northern Ireland, go on, have your say. Oh, welcome. Thrice welcome to Wogan Towers. This week, the maid's bedroom. And this week also, we ask Steve Davis, what's going on in the snooker? Why is Animal Hospital closing the surgery? And still on furry creatures, who let Rick Stein's dog out? But first, Vicky Fowler. <gasps> it's been a rocky old road from Florida to Walford. It seems to have affected her tonsils. And for those not familiar with EastEnders, seven years ago, our Vicky leaves the square, cockney as a little sparrow, comes back in January with American twang, and by September, she's back talking like a pearly queen. Why has Vicky Fowler now got a cockney accent when only a couple of weeks ago she was talking with an American one? Vicky has always been cast as a brash American teenager. Then all of a sudden, in a tense dialogue with Dennis, she broke into a crisp English accent. Have I missed something? Well, I hate to say it, but you have a point. Now, this was Vicky on her return from the United States of America. Do I smell supper? And you are? Vicky. <laughs> and here she is, after a couple of weeks, down Albert Square. And I know it's stupid, I know. I just thought, if I told him about you, then he'd just want to hear about you and not me. Oh, isn't it amazing what a jelly deals and a cockney knees up can do, isn't it? <laughs> you, of course, you have your own theories. Is it stress following the eruptions of Den's reappearance? But one viewer has more biological concerns and a medical solution. She may be suffering from accelerated dialectic morphosis changing in the space of a few weeks from vague North American to unconvincing Southern English with hints of estuary. Well, you're leaning against an open door with me. I suggest a glottal irrigation with a velic transplant. Hold, hold hard, hold hard. Now, we hope to get to the root of the problem before things became that serious. And we spoke to the EastEnders team, and as always, we asked on your behalf. What's happened to Vicky's accent? Vicky spent the first nine years of her life in Walford and the last seven living in Florida. So it was important her accent would reflect this when we first introduced the character. However, we knew an American accent would seem incongruous around Walford, so it was always our intention to soften it over time and eventually lose it altogether when Vicky makes the decision to finally fit in with her surroundings. Well, there's something in what they say.